What is up amigos? Today we're talking about what is vorticity. So in this video here, we went through the mathematics of vorticity, the equations that govern it. In this video, we'll be going through the concept of it. So from a more practical point of view, let's say we have a parcel of air and it can be as big or as small as you like. If it's smaller, it's a little bit easier just to comprehend. But let's say we have this parcel here at time one. Then at time two, we have another point where it could be rotated like this, or it could be more a trapezoid. So you have more like something like this. And the dot here is the center of gravity. In both of these cases, the parcel of air has rotated by a certain amount. So in this second one, it may not seem like it has, but this face has gone this way, this face has gone that way. So in reality, some of it has rotated around. And in this particular case, the flow can be called rotational because this has rotated. As such, there is an angular velocity. And that is really what vorticity is. It's just angular velocity. So with this, there is vorticity. And then the equations of vorticity can apply to this. Alternatively, if we have this exact same parcel, and this is in step one, in the next time step, we have it looking more like a diamond kind of shape, if I can draw it properly. So this face has gone this way, this face has gone that way, and likewise. And this is the center of gravity. So in this second time, has this parcel of air rotated? Has it got angular velocity? Is there vorticity? Well, actually, no, because this face has skewed by the same amount as this face, this face as this face, so they kind of cancel out. So in this particular case, there is no angular velocity. As such, there is no vorticity. And we can say that the flow in this particular case is irrotational. So that is very important, this distinction, rotational versus irrotational. Rotational flow literally means that there's just some angular flow somewhere in the flow, and that means that there is vorticity. If you say that a flow is irrotational, which is a precursor for potential flow, then it means that there is no angular velocity anywhere in the flow, which means that there is no vorticity, which means that there is no angular velocity either. So that is the difference between a flow with vorticity and a flow without vorticity. And this is important because if you have vorticity in the flow, it means that can propagate out into the rest of the flow and change the rest of the flow, it can mix it around. If you don't have that happening, then this parcel of air is just moving around and they might interact with other parcels of air, but nothing is actually rotating. That is the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons. And we'll see you soon. Peace out, amigos.